It's Mel Event, and I'm back with some more UFC from across the world. Robert Whitaker is taking on Uriah Hall. Uriah Hall is coming off a glorious victory against gay guard Musasi. Uriah Hall's record is 13 and 5. He's the ranked number 10 middleweight. He has one performance of the night, known to many of us as Prime Time. He's fighting out of New York, New York, from Spanish Town, Jamaica. He's 31 years old, 6 feet tall, 185 pounds, 79 reach. He's uh, very effective with his legs and his striking ability. He's mostly a striker, but he can take you down and he can even, you know, attempt a, submis attempt a submission. He's attempted 455 strikes out of 455. He's landed 246, which gives him a rating at landing 54%, a successful rating. That's good. Uh, he's attempted 16 takedowns, um, successfully made seven. So that's 44%. Um, the percentage of strikes avoided is 56%. So he's avoided 56% of strikes attempted against him. Out of those 246 strikes that he's landed, he's landed he's uh, landed 166 while standing, which gives him a 67% rate at landing strikes while standing, which is great. His defense is awesome. The percentage of, of takedowns avoided is 73%. And um, he's on a two-fight winning streak. He defeated Bang Bam Gabuz and recently the legend gay guard Musasi in a second round KO with devastating strikes. Um, Uriah Hall should never be underestimated by anybody in UFC at all. Robert Whitaker is 15 and four. He's ranked 14 middleweight. One performance of the night, one fight of the night. He has an unorthodox style, but he's a striker. And he doesn't really go for the takedowns, but he's really mostly a striker. Um, fighting out of uh, Sydney, Australia. 24 years old, six feet tall, 185 pounds. Uh, his uh, arm reached 73, which is great. He's attempted 866 strikes, landed 328, which gives him a 38% rating at landing strikes. He's attempted four takedowns and successfully landed three, which gave him 75%, which is good. Um, he's out of 328 strikes, he has 269 standing. 35 in a clinch and 24 on the ground. Um, the percentage of strikes he's avoided is 66%, and the percentage of takedowns he's avoided is 92%. And he is also on a winning streak after defeating Mike Rhodes, uh, Clint Hester, and Brad Tavares. Now he's um, going to face ahead Uriah Hall. Whitaker is a very good fighter. He is a black belt in hop keto a black belt in karate, purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and a very effective fighter, and a good record, a good record, a very good record. Um, Uriah Hall is a second-degree black belt in Kayo Kushin Nakan, and that's pretty good, and he's a blue belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Um, and the Tiger, you know, that's pretty good, that's pretty good for Uriah Hall. Um, for sure, these two men are very effective strikers, and we're going to see a lot of striking, and um, I'm saying this, you know, because I will never um, ever predict against Uriah Hall after what he did to Gegard Musasi, even though he is, he's the type of guy that um, he takes chances when he's fighting, and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't hesitate to make an attack, and the only problem with Uriah Hall that doesn't make him, you know, the, the difference that Uriah Hall has from being a good fighter and a great fighter is he doesn't know how to switch up in the middle of an attack. And um, Whitaker, who's coming off a winning streak, does know how to switch up. You know, he does know how to switch up. Uh, Whitaker is a very good fighter. You know, Robert Whitaker is a very good fighter. Um, but I'm looking forward to this fight. I'm looking forward to this fight. Um, Uriah Hall is going to win in the second round and he's going to have a, t a TKO or a KO. That's what I'm, you know, I see here. I see um that he's, you know, he's known for stoppage, you know, the doctor stoppage or you know, KO and I see that uh Uriah Hall even though Robert Whitaker is such a a well-balanced fighter, such a uh well-rounded fighter. Um he won't 
take those chances in the case that Uriah Hall will. And even though Uriah Hall has lost before, you know, it's always, you know, it's usually a split decision. Except I believe the only person that ever KO'd Uriah Hall is Chris Wedman. Chris Wedman, right? And um, that was a TKO. And I don't believe that uh, Whitaker will be able to TKO um, Uriah Hall. And that's the only way he's going to beat Uriah Hall is by TKO. And I don't think he's going to be able to do that. And I see Uriah Hall winning in the second round by KO due to the... I think... I believe that it's going to be a, a total combinations against uh, Whitaker that will, you know, be the defining uh, point of the fight is when um, Uriah Hall comes out in the second round after filling him out in the first round, after filling Whitaker out in the first round. In the second round, I believe Uriah Hall will make it his attack and it's going to be very aggressive. And when he applies the pressure on uh, Robert Whitaker, who is a very good fighter, because, you know, um, I've seen him, you know, fight, you know, Mike Rhodes and, you know, Brad Tavares. And um, once he fights, for sure, once he fights Uriah Hall, who has been active, you know, who have just fought recently. Uriah Hall just recently fought. And that's, what, and that's why I'm also going with Uriah Hall because he has recently fought in September and we're in November. So I'm going for the guy. He didn't take much damage in the Gegard Musasi fight. And he's been active and he's been training and he's going from training camp to training camp. So I believe that he's going to be the, the guy who has his timing right. And um, he's going to be the one who's going to be more effective, you know. Um, I see, like I said, combinations, second round, most likely spinning elbow, uh, knee strike. And when he hits the ground, combination. That's my predictions for Uriah Hall's win. Uh, no, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm going with Uriah Hall to win in the second round, KO or TKO. Until next time, it's Melvin with UFC from across the world.